practicing your dancing with your appearance on the uh, Dancing with Our Local Stars? I have been practicing and practicing. I don't know why, because the lady I'm dancing for is a professional. It's so um, beautiful. Nobody's going to be looking at me anyway. So I can be stepping all over the place. Hey, don't, not, don't underestimate your celebrity appeal <laughs> no, here. No, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly wanted her to be my instructor, so I knew what would happen the night of the dance. That's great. Um, do you see any chance that Pistons could remain in Oakland County? I'm sorry? Do you see any chance that Pistons could remain in Oakland oh, yeah. County? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, first of all, uh, there's several uh, things to say on that. This is not a done deal between the Illich and the Pistons. I mean, they've got a lot of hoops to jump through. So if he, if he does some more power to him, he's got to clear a lot of uh, challenges there. Uh, and then there's no place for him to go downtown, so they're going to stay in the palace for five, six years anyway, and maybe at that point in time, uh, Michael will think Michael is really okay, so he's sitting the back gig out here, right. so maybe he can change his mind. I know he wants to consolidate all of his teams in Detroit for the synergy of having this, this mega sports center uh, uh, down there that he can you know, basically walk to if he had to. Uh, it's a lot of appeal, I'm sure, for one owner to have everything in one place, but um, we're going to keep him free for five, six years. Just because That's great. No That's great. Um, and we know that Oakland County has weathered the Michigan economy better than many other areas. Uh, do you see an end to some of the cuts at the Civic Center level, police force? And no, I think we've had some tough, tough challenges. Uh, there's just things out there that are still really serious storm clouds. For instance, this mortgage uh, crisis that we see going on across America. If that blows up and it has the potential to blow up, uh, it could plunge us right back into another prolonged recession. So uh, we have to watch out for that. Uh, property values, according to our estimate, based on our budgeting practice, is going to be a three-year budget. So we're looking out 11, 12, and 13, and now we're working on fiscal year 2014. We still see property values sliding, so there's no immediate turnaround. Yeah. Um, so were you disappointed in Bouchard's loss? Well, I, you know, yes. I mean, for him, and, 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 uh, I know he wanted it. And, I'm disappointed. Um, and, and it was a tough race. I told Mike that going in, and he stuck with it because you know, it was something uh, that's a rare commodity in politics today. Uh, but uh, not surprised, but disappointed. Yes. So, what's your message going to be here tonight? I mean, it's an open invitation to the rest of the state to use the resources that you've established. So, what's going to be your message? I don't have a. I'm just going I'm just going <laughs> to bluff my way through the next hour and a half. Actually, <laughs> actually, we have some successes that are easily transferred to the state. Uh, and so I'm going to show them what we've done here and say, look, it ain't rocket science. Right. And if you do these basic steps, set them up preliminary, and don't expect a 24-hour turnaround. Some of the things we've done, frankly, have been in the hopper 10, 15 years. And that's the bad news for, for the next yes. governor. There is no silver bullet that's going to turn this around in a short period of time. This is a long-term fix. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Thank nice you. to see you. You Thanks. too. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You think Rob right?